Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time. People. And today, we'll be reviewing some random figures today, and some weapons from Power Rangers, Ninja Steel. So we're going to start out with the Power Rangers stuff, because we got some working Power Rangers weapons here on the channel, finally. I've been trying to get batteries for these things, but these take LR44 batteries, which are hard to get your hands on. But they make noise, they light up. And look at that sword extend. This is awesome. I wish you could see it a bit better, but it's hard to shoot this sword on camera. But yeah, that is one massive ninja steel sword. You can insert the power star. We're going to take the power star out of this one. And we can put the power star in, in this weapon quite a cool noise making toy if I do say so myself and that's the first thing it's the ninja steel saver why not because it's cool Next, we got the Ninja Steel Morpher. Insert the Power Star. Now we're going to do the Ninja Steel Morpher Battle Bow mode. If I can make it work. There we got the Battle Bow. Ready for battle. No, no one's saying the wrong Ninja Steel Power Star. It's definitely a fun toy, and I'm so glad I have this for my Power Rangers weapon collection. Is a Power Rangers Ninja Steel Morph, Battle Morpher and Sword worth adding to your Power Rangers collection? Yes, if you could find these old school Power Rangers toys, they're worth the money. Because I love me some Power Rangers toys. Because they're fun. Done with that stuff, and now we're moving on to the rest of the stuff. Right on. Next on the list, we got some G.I. Joe. He'll fight for freedom wherever there's trouble. G.I. Joe is there. G.I. Joe, real American hero. G.I. Joe is there. Fighting for freedom wherever there's trouble over land and sea and air. G.I. Joe there. And that's my G.I. Joe voiceover of the song along with the figure. And this is a cool looking G.I. Joe. I don't know who this exact Joe is because there's no name on this guy. And he's an older G.I. Joe figure. Newer one or older one. If I had to guess, if you could tell me who is, what his name is, I would be totally grateful if you could tell me who his name is. But he is pretty cool. He has G.I. Joe on his pants. 
So he's obviously a Joe. He's didn't have any weapons, so I just gave him some random weapons I had. So you go pew pew, bang bang, pew pew, bang bang. Then I had this cool military helicopter I'm using for Cobra with a Gatling gun. You can fly after the Joe and go like Cobra, and take, and he can go with his one shot launcher and be like, "Take this Cobra," and crash it. Because it's G.I. Joe, they're always fighting Cobra. Why not? And that guy is close enough to Cobra. Next on the list, we got my favorite horse from my one of my favorite movies as a kid. And this is a big version of that horse. It's good old Spirit. He is the horse. The wild horse himself. This is a different version. It looks like he could have a rider on him. But I don't have any figures that will work with him. That's a real shame. Otherwise, he's a good-looking figure. Head is can move. Not any ball joints in the head. Hoofs are... Legs are articulated. Woo, my bad. Legs are articulated. So you get some movement out of the legs. So that's a fun gimmick to give it this figure. Some movable legs. And movable hoofs themselves even the tail is articulated i love that and is a spirit worth adding to your collection i said he i say yes because i love that movie as a kid and spirit will always hold a special place in my toy collection and in my heart man and i'm so glad to finally have a figure of one of my favorite movies as a kid Spirit. So, yep, he's definitely going to go on the shelf for sure. We're nearly done with half of our whole table of review items here. Nearly. All we got left is the Marvel. Next, we have a brand new, to me, Marvel Spider-Man. And this is a different design from the one I already own. You can see this one's a more lighter blue, and this one's a more darker blue. But they're the exact same figure, just some keen differences, as you can see. And I'm so glad I have some more Spider-Mans in my collection. And that's all there is to say for that. The last thing we have is this launching Thor, Sky Dancer Thor. So we're going to go show this off. I'm going to have to... Move the tripod away from the station. We're going to do it right over here where you can see it. Flick on the light. And now we're going to watch this thing fly. If I can get this thing to fly. We're going to watch it go. We're going to pull the string here. And, and there it goes. It went flying all the way over there man that was fun i love having some fun here on my channel because i love some fun toys is a marvel sky dancer like thor worth adding to your collection sorry if i had to correct myself i say it's a nice looking thor and i'm so glad to have this thor in my collection i love me some marvel thor and this is Eddie Hill, moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.